morning, Cougs. This is Central Kitsap High School's video bulletin for May 4th. Seniors, the CKHS Alumni Association scholarship is now open. Uh, the scholarships are made possible through community donors and the application is available on the Class of 2020 Google Classroom. Please return completed applications to Mrs. Moore no later than May 15th. Um, another due date for May 15th, seniors, please complete the after high school plans form on the Class of 2020 Google Classroom. And to all of our wonderful teachers, happy Teachers Appreciation Week. Um, we hope that you have a wonderful week, even if it is without our wonderful students in class. Thank you for all that you do. Um, and happy birthday today to Joshua, Bailey, Kaylin, and staff member, Mr. Moore. And as always, have safe and be fun, and may the fourth be with you. Okay, go. Good afternoon, I'm Hannah Kroll. We interrupt this broadcast of CKHS Daily Bulletin to bring you breaking news about the 2020 College Board AP exams. Our very own Central Kids of High School AP coordinator, Kate Lane, is on the scene. Let's go to her live for more details. Kate, can you hear me? Yes. Well, Hannah, it's a real circus out here this month. Students all over the world are scrambling to complete practice questions and study the content and preparation of this year's unique and unprecedented digital exam. Uh, in light of some of these drastic changes, I wanted to address the concerns of our awesome students. Let's go to our first caller, Cooper Buckets from Silverdale, Washington. Hi, uh, how do I prepare and practice for the exam? Thank you, Cooper. That's a really great question. I encourage you to stay engaged in your online classroom. Uh, secondly, check the College Board website for all recent updates. And lastly, access the lessons that are posted on YouTube to help you understand the material and stay in communication with your AP teacher. Now let's take another call from Blair Birdie Love. How do I access a digital exam? Blair Birdie Love, that is a frequently asked question. Uh, you will receive an email from College Board on the day of your scheduled exam. On that note, I recommend that you verify that you have a valid email address. Always call the student helpline if you need to update your information. Let's take one more question from Blake Waterhose. Where do I contact if I need help? Blake Waterhose, I want to emphasize how important it is to prepare as much as you can prior to the test. It will be very difficult to troubleshoot any technical problems during the exam. So on that note, feel free to contact your AP teacher, your College Board Customer Service Representative, or myself if you have any concerns prior to testing. Oh, our time is up for today, Kate. Is there anything you'd like to add? I do have one more important detail. All AP students and parents will receive an email this week detailing some of these important changes. Please carefully read through and reach out if you have any questions. Well, all right. That is our breaking news from the world of AP. Thank you for the privilege of your time and from all of us at Central Kitsap High School, may the fourth be with you.